starting in 5 seconds mr deputy chairman let me take this opportunity to draw the attention of the government and also of the house to some of the important factors and the vital situation that is obtaining in the country today the prices of essential commodities are soaring up like anything the prices of even food grains and edible oils are increasing day by day and the life of the common man is becoming miserable there is no use of preaching to the business people black marketers and holders unless government takes some stringent action against the black marketers and holders i do not think the business community which is bent on making money only interested in its business of making money the business community is not there to do any social service to the people they are there only to make money as such black marketers and holders should be punished and i may even ask why the misa should not be used against any such undesirable elements in this country when the congress government used the misa against black marketers and holders the opposition parties and political parties wanted all the political leaders to be released from jail and that not a single political leader should be kept inside the jail in the name of black marketeering but at the same time they never wanted the undesirable elements to be let out now i appeal to the government to find out whether undesirable elements like black marketeers and holders could be booked at the same time full liberty should be given to the courts of law and the courts of law should not be closed to those people now we find that prime minister of the country making appeals to the business people but how long do you go on making appeals to them to lower the prices so i appeal to the government to see that the prices of essential goods are reduced so that they come within the reach of the common man sir the agricultural production is going down because the prices of fertilizers are going up the cost of agricultural production is shooting up day by day and the backbone of the agriculturist and the small farmer having been broken today he is not in a position to do his cultivation i say that the small marginal farmer does not get credit facilities from the government or from the bank so i appeal to the government to help the agriculturist and the small farmers so that they may do their cultivation work properly and the agricultural production of the country is increased we were pleading that a crop insurance scheme should be chalked out so that it would give relief to the farmer his crop has to depend on the vagaries of nature sometimes there are droughts and sometimes there are heavy floods and all that so there should be a crop insurance scheme i hope the government will consider this matter then 
there is the question of excise duty on bds i do not know why the government did not leave this item bd is used by the commonest men and it is not a luxury item i appeal to the government that even at this late stage they should reconsider their stand they should not be dogmatic on this matter and they should not take it as a prestige issue after all bd is being consumed by the commonest men lakhs and lakhs of people are dependent on bd for their livelihood they are working as bd workers in bd factories so i appeal to the government that the excise duty on bds should be reduced and there should be no tax on bds sir i may also bring to the notice of the government another important matter of the karnataka state in karnataka state the constitutional machinery has failed today and the central government has appointed judge to go into the corruption charges against the chief minister of karnataka this is the first time that a chief minister has challenged the authority of the central government to appoint a judge against his will the chief minister says that the central government has got no authority to appoint a judge against his will now the matter is pending in the supreme court not only that the karnat chief minister appointed his own judge to go into the corruption charges against him and his own officers to place the records before the judge appointed by him that thing is going on in karnat apart from this rebel ministers have come up the chief minister and the ministers are collectively responsible to the people at large but what is going on there the chief minister has no confidence in his own ministers they are known as rebel ministers neither have they resigned from the karnataka cabinet nor has the chief minister shunted them out these are the affairs of the karnataka state i plead the central government to take appropriate steps to run the government machinery smoothly stop